Hey there, Sharon Horn Elstrom here. Welcome to Supersize Your Business. Today's idiom is enlightened. We switched gears in the Get Your Goals annual challenge, and we are talking about spiritual well-being and spiritual health this month with respect to our goals. So spiritual goals and spiritual well-being goals for the month of April. And our idiom for today is enlightened. Are you enlightened enough to supersize and grow your business? I guess that's our question for today. Of course, enlightenment means different things to different people, but it's basically... Uh, it's our state of spiritual awakening, where we are on our path to spiritual development and awakening. And does that have anything to do with growing and building and supersizing your business? It's for you to decide. I guess it depends on your business. It depends on you. It depends on whether that's an important thing to you or not. Uh, spirituality and spiritual well-being to me is my connection to something outside of myself, something bigger than myself. And so to me, Business is about making the world a better place. And if my business isn't making the world a better place, then I don't think it's very enlightened. But that is my opinion. Uh, it actually means to go in or into the light. Enlightenment means go into the light. Uh, it's a sense of clarity and um, I guess our understanding of spiritual insight and, and how we look at things and how we look at the world. So I'm just going to share today, since this is kind of a... Uh, a woo woo one. I'm going to share 10 signs of being enlightened. And you can ask yourself, you know, where, where do I see myself on any of these? Have I ever even thought about any of these? And how might they help me grow and build and supersize our business? I think building a business and supersizing a business is an exercise and probably the greatest personal development exercise we will ever do. And to me, that is spiritual well-being, spiritual awakening in becoming enlightened and becoming a better version of myself. But what are some signs of being enlightened according to the World Wide Web and the internet? Number one, um, we have examples of awakened people in our life. We know who and model other people that we consider awakened or on the same spiritual path that we choose to be on. I think that uh, there's a lot of ways to define that and you get to define it how it works for you and how important it is to you. Uh, do you, and this is a, a second sign of being enlightened, are you able to see your own patterns of thought, of behavior, of uh, actions, of experiences, of lessons learned? And it means we'll step back and we'll do something and then we'll analyze and take lessons learned from that and we'll continue to do the things that work for us and we will stop doing the things that don't work for us. Uh, Feeling a sense of connection to something outside of yourself, something bigger than yourself. Feeling connected to the people that are in your organization with you. Feeling connected to the people you serve. Feeling connected to a higher power, whatever that means to you. Uh, the next one is letting go of attachments. Uh, it means we're not <clears throat> tied to the outcome. The outcome of something doesn't um, become who we are. Uh, five is finding inner peace. Uh, are, is building your business and supersizing your business offering you a sense of inner peace and as if you're on your purpose. Six, increasing your intuition. <clears throat> Again, maybe you don't do anything based on intuition. Uh, <clears throat> seven, having synchronicity. Eight, increasing your compassion. Nine, removing fear of death. Ten, increasing authenticity. And I guess this, I didn't count properly, but the last one is flourishing. Do you, and do you consider yourself and your business flourishing? Are you doing well? Uh, ways to increase our enlightenment and become more enlightened include meditation, spending time in nature, laughing, dancing, doing anything that makes you feel good or connected to your community or in with your community. Volunteering is, is a great way to feel more connected. Um, Practicing gratitude and then slowing down and being present in different experiences and situations you're in. So I'd love to know your experience with uh, in being enlightened on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being the most enlightened person on the planet. Uh, maybe the Dalai Lama or, you know, I don't know who you consider the most enlightened. Uh, but that would be a 10. And then where are you on that scale of 1 to 10? You can share that if you're brave. I'm probably about a five. So you still go from there. That's it. Have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, let me know. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow.